What's going on guys and welcome to Foundry, a game you guys know I've been excited for now for some time, to be precise, two whole years. And yes, it is now available in early access. There's no more demos, there's no more alpha builds, and a big shout out to Paradox Interactive for sponsoring episode one, season one of this playthrough. So make sure you check the description below and give that link a click and there'll also be a link in the pinned comment in the comment section. So without further ado, sit back, relax, make sure you got your helmets on because this is going to be one hell of a ride. Hopefully you enjoy the game, hopefully you enjoy the series and hopefully you keep on bloody smiling. So without further ado, if you enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe and also leave a comment even if it's just a bloody emoji. So. Let's jump in to our brand new world. Okay, so we've just landed in here. We can see our little drop pod. We've got some beautiful mountain vistas. It does seem like we're in like a little bit of a deserty biome with a, some like lush or plains or maybe hills, uh, a hill biome over here. Um, I've noticed as well there's some ore right there and there's some blue ore right here, which I'm guessing by the looks of these little interfaces we've got some technum which is this blue one and we've also got xenoferrite which is that one so if we put some of the orange one in here that's going to give us xenoferrite plates and then the technum ones is going to give us some rods which is all like basic stuff but if you want to actually play on this uh, world as well if you actually look up in the top left hand corner now there's a number which is 777-079097. If you actually put that into your world seed generator when you start a new game, that will put you in this exact same location because the world is procedurally generated. So you can put a random seed in, you'll get a different place to me. But if you want to follow along with this series or the Twitch streams and all that kind of good stuff, make sure to put that in there and join us on this little ride. But also, as you know, as always, I do live stream this playthrough. So what you're seeing right now, uh, I do live stream this over on Twitch, so check the links in the description. Or if you want to catch up on them VODs or want more detail, check the VOD channel. That's in the description as well. But plugs out the way, we are in the new world. It's a new game, it's a new factory, and I'm super duper excited. So without further ado, we do have a task, which is equip the ore scanner uh, and then use the ore scanner. So I've already changed all my key binds and everything, so things might look a little bit different to you. So as you can see, I've got like a torch down here, blah, 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 blah. And we have an ore scanner here. So we're going to quickly scan that, but as we know... To get started, approach both oh, hello, ore patches and mine some ore. Approach some uh, ore patches and mine some. So we've got Technum here, and then we've also got Xenoferrite right there also. So if I scan this, does this come up on the map as well? It does. Xenoferrite, Xenoferrite, what's that? Unreachable Xenoferrite ore. Unknown resources, unknown resources. Okay, so we do have a few around us. Can I see the chunks around us as well? So, without further ado, let's start grabbing some of these. Uh, and what we can actually do with this ore is if I turn around real, real quick, we can actually see we have some machine, uh, some uh, user interface right here. Um, little computer screen. So, I can actually put that ore in there and it's going to boot up and start making me some Technum rods. And if we actually grab some of the orange ones as well, which is the Xenoferrite, you're going to have to excuse me. It's a new factory game. It's new ore and I need to kind of get used to it. So I might start calling things iron, I might start calling things copper. I don't know as of yet. So we've got some xenoferrites. We can grab some of that, put some of that in here. Then we'll make some plates. But without further ado, let's grab some of this stuff and grab the rest of this and clear this top ore off this top ground soil kind of stuff here. And then we'll move on to this, the, the, the orange one. Xenoferrite, that's it. Then let's just collect some xenoferrites. And then I can just drop that into there, start making some plates. I've already put the uh, Technum stuff in there, which is making me some rods. So we can grab some of that. And then we can also grab them. And if you notice, our tasks have changed now. It's telling us we need to put down... Um, we need to smelt 10, 10 of these. And then Core's probably going to give us another objective. Take Xeno, Zerif plates. Come on, two more. One and two now that we have basic materials available we should start crafting building blocks which act as a foundation for other buildings okay to do so you need to open the crafting menu and click the desired items 
Then place them in the shape of a platform next to one of the ore patches. Okay, so the crafting menu, which is this one. And then we can see we've got some building blocks, we've got some crates, we've got some machinery parts, wire coils, electronic components, mining drills, the scanner, and then some xenoferrite plates and technum rods. I'm just going to call them rods and plates. I'm not going to call them by the full names. Wire uh, components, machinery parts, or some parts, building blocks, which is what he's just requested. So let's build a couple of them. I think I'm going to need quite a bit of these. I think plates are going to be the main important by the looks of these recipes here. Like plates and the rods is going to be for the building blocks. But like a lot of this, a lot of this stuff is mainly uh, the plates that we're going to be needing. So let's grab as much as that we can. And I'm going to hand drill some more of this real quick just to get some more. And then head over to the other one. Grab some of this one also. And then dump you in there, dump you in there, and bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. And we've now got some more ore being put in there. So obviously, like every other factory game, it is going to be a little bit of a slow start. It's going to give you the tutorial. There's no way of kind of skipping right that now, right now, or stopping call as well. Uh, also, uh, if you want to like stop the day and night cycle, you can press Control, Alt, and U. It brings up this camera tools, and you can turn the day and night cycle on up here you can even show your ui or you can even have a little fly around and take some cool little pictures so now that we've got these kind of cooking we want to look into uh the building blocks right so we want more of these down so let's just kind of so if we left click we'll actually make one if we right click we'll make five and if we control click we will actually make as many as possible so now that we've got that there's also another feature which is auto jump so if you notice i run up to this and i i'm just automatically stepping up on this if I press a keybind, which is unassigned, by the way, so if you go into keybind and scroll all the way down to the bottom, there is a toggle auto climb. Make sure you assign this to something. Otherwise, because if you're building, and I've turned it off now, I'm not going to automatically run up here. It's something uh, that Minecraft had, uh, but they didn't add in until like, later on. It stops you from, you know, falling off cliffs or whatever. Because I don't know if you, if, when we get railings and stuff later on, I don't know if it's going to automatically jump us over. We will find out and we'll science it. And obviously, you guys will be the first to know. So let me turn that back on. So I've got it enabled uh, for now. And uh, I might actually, while this is happening, let's go and check out some of these views and see what's around us. Okay, so I'm just kind of heading up this cliff and I've just noticed something. If I've got the auto climb on, I actually climb up here a lot, f like, you know, pretty fast. But if I go back down and turn off the auto climb, and I jump normally, it's actually a lot slower. So word of advice, when you're climbing or exploring, turn on the auto jump and then turn it off when you are um, around your base and stuff because you kind of jump a set distance every time. But if I turn it off, I can actually climb up here a lot quicker than manually pressing spacebar and jump. So that's already two tips for you so far in the game. Maybe three if you include the seed generator thing. But we can see we've got some more lakes down here. Um, we we have we do have a research thing. We can see research not unlocked. But there's a big big planet here as well. And I've noticed this. Look at this up here. A big massive like spaceship. I'm guessing that's where we possibly come from. I'm interested to know the lore of this. And maybe throughout early access of this game, we find out what that is. And if it is our home ship. Or if it's an enemy or an ally. Who knows? Eh. <laughs> eh. Ugh. I'm trying to get to the top of this mountain. I'm just keep jumping and jumping. I don't know how high I've got, but I'm I'm just climbing and climbing and climbing. We are going pretty high. I do I do know that the uh, the height uh, of the world, like the the world box kind of thing, is pretty high, and you can go super deep as well into the into the grounds. And we'll do that when we get down into mine shafts and all that kind of good stuff. But we've finally made it to the top of this mountain. Oh boy, and we can look around. God, could you imagine the scale we could build on stuff? Like, you better believe we are going to be building some mega, mega... Is that a chasm down there? That looks like a massive chasm. You see it? I don't know if it's just a drop-off or a mountain, but there's a mountain there and a mountain there and a big, massive, like, valley or something. Like, the, the, the scale of stuff we can do, the production lines and... To think that this is straight early access right now and it's just coming out, like, day one, uh, as of you guys seeing this on May 2nd, I'm recording this uh, quite a few days earlier than that. Ooh, 
Oh, yeah, there's no fall damage, so we can just kind of jump. There's tip number four slash five, whichever we're on, we're on now. So there's no fall damage, which is pretty good. Let's also... Oh, yeah, we're still waiting on the placing, but I bet these are done now, by the way, aren't they? Oh, my God, they are. Can I put any more out, more in here? I can. Right, let's let's kind of do our objective. I'm kind of straying away here. We've got 100 building blocks. Holy baloney. Let's get them in here, uh, and let's get these. So we can kind of place these down. So it is a grid-based system, and if I hold left-click, I can, you know, build this. But if you notice, this is coming up red right here because of this uh, block. So I can still place these. To automate but what it's going to do is going to run around. To set oh, up a drone do you line. mind? Craft one and place it on top of your foundation, right next to the ore patch. Do you mind? So the foundations are kind of going around this, but we could actually remove this. Just get our drill and remove it. Same with this flower. Get your drill, drill it, remove it, and then we can just get our block again and place that right in there now we've got a little bit of a foundation we actually need some more actually uh let's make some more i also told me to make a drone miner and the drone miner is basically what is going to mine this stuff for us automatically so I'll place a drone miner on the foundation is it me or is it have i left the night cycle on by accident i'm pretty sure i have no if it's going daytime or not i cannot remember day and night on off on on means I would guess it's rotating, I would think. Okay, so we've just got the drone machine. So we can place this down and we can see like the further I move this away, it's, it's detecting the ore over here. So let's kind of get this foundation, take it up a little bit and get our miner. Place it a bit further in, like so. Drone miners and most other buildings require power to function. Okay. Let's build a biomass generator on the same foundation as the drone miner. Once built, you need to harvest some plants and trees with your mining drill to collect biomass. Insert the biomass into the generator and it will start to power all buildings on the same foundation as the generator. Okay, so we've got floor power and these are done. Bada bing. I'm still waiting for this day and I don't know if I bugged the day and night cycle. <laughs> I don't know if I broke it. I want to keep my eye on it. And if it doesn't go daytime, I'm going to have to reload or restart the game or something. Um, okay, so we need to get power. So we need a, a biomass burner, which he said. So I'm just going to extend this out here a little bit. And then we're going to go into here and build a biomass burner. And that shouldn't take too long. We can kind of see it being constructed down here at the bottom. So it's ideal to kind of get the stuff like your, your building blocks and your, your conveyor belts later on and all this kind of stuff. And you, obviously your components, but all of them kind of automated. Uh, so now that we've got the biomass burner, let's right click that. Let's put you down. Let's access this interface. And if we press this button right here, we'll dump in the biomass we already collected, which was from that little plant over there. So if we go around here, we can actually start grabbing some of these plants and start earning some biomass. Just like normal, I feel right at home right now, collecting all this biomass. Right, so after a big little run around of collecting biomass, we have quite a few in here. We do have an auto sort, but we've got quite like near enough four stacks. I can dump all of that in there. Go watch your we... mining drones acquire your first automated yeah, ore. I, I can Aren't see they that. Beautiful? They're kind of doing that. Anyways, we need to get going. Let's build a smelter next. Build a smelter. Okay, so one thing I do know about these little drones is this is our miner, and as we can see, the yield of the past minute and that's what they're collecting this past minute but the ore is depletable until later on which obviously i won't spoil it just yet but we can see that this yield has 68 per minute at the minute 72 and it kind of fluctuates you've got to remember that these ores are going to start removing these blocks over time so the further they move away from this drawn port the, fur the, the the less yield they are going to collect. So this is not like a, a, a good solid number they're always going to be bringing in per minute. So we have to take that into account, okay? Um, so right now, on average, it's about 60. We're just going to go 60. We're not going to go 64, 68, 72. It will go 60. Eventually, it will go down to 50 and 40 until, you know, they might have to reach over here at some point and all that kind of good stuff. So... Back on topic, we need to put down a smelter. So we're going to put a smelter down right here. So we're going to go into here. I'm going to build a smelter. Uh, and once we put that down, it should talk to us about our good old inserters. Because we kind of need inserters to uh, put into the... Oh, I just, yeah, I just made another one. Okay, didn't want to do that. 
So we're just going to put this down here, and we can see on the floor where the panel is going to be. So one, two, three, four, just like that. The smelter good old is more back. efficient than the inbuilt drop pod smelter. Yep. So you should start using this from now on. Okay. Another benefit is that we can automate the smelters to make our life easier. For this, you need to connect the drone miner to a smelter by using loaders and conveyor belts. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead right and here. connect them while I'm notifying mission command on our progress. Okay. So we're going to make Communication one, two link loaders. Establishment failure. And we're going to make 10 conveyor Kyle. To make contact with mission command. Kyle, it let could me be a just... technical anomaly. I shall persist in my attempts. <sighs> Okay, are you done now, Carl? Okay, beautiful. We're gonna put our conveyor belts in there. We're gonna put our loader in there. Bada bing, bada boom. We are then gonna put down our uh, inserter, our output, and we're gonna attach that to there. We can already see it says building on one side, you belt have on the, the machines other. Necessary to connect oh the my God, Carl. The smelter. Now, attach a loader to each machine and yep. connect them with conveyor yep. belts. Yeah, I'm I'm explaining to After them what's done. You should build more smelters and have them produce enough metal plates and rods to fulfill our mission. Okay. Speaking of which, uh, never the mind. mission control oh, well, link oh, well. remains non-responsive. Our objective is near completion and immediate guidance from mission command is required. Okay. Right. So, basically, I'm telling you what he's telling me so basically we have conveyors we have uh this one we can see this one's brown this one's blue but if we toggle this button right here we can see that is set to intake but there's no connector so we're going to put down a conveyor belt from because we want it to go from here to over here so we're going to put a belt going that way we can see that's now connected this is set to intake we don't want to intake this way these arrows indicate it and these lights will show up as well so if i toggle this button it's now set to an output and we can see the orange lights going that way blue lights going that way that means we are now receiving the items from here to here and if we look as well on the uh, conveyor recipe uh it says item slash a minute items a minute which is 160 so these conveyor ones actually transport 160 items per minute and as we know we're only bringing in right now 15 and the only re the reason that is is because we're full so this is going to fill up pretty quick uh, and it's only going to stick to three items in the machine at all times. And we can see 20 items of rubble is going to output 20 items of rods. So it's always going to stick with three. It never goes over it and it doesn't go to 100 or 200. It always stays at three. We can go into here. We can also see the grid stats. We can jump out. So we've got low voltage grid, 107 kilowatts, because that's what we're making, because these biomass burners, if we go into our thingies, we can uh, see here, max power generation is 600 kilowatts. So this 600 kilowatts, we have this smelter. The smelter is consuming 100 kilowatts. The drone miner is controlling 200 kilowatts. And the reason it does 200 is we have four drones that come out of this. And for each drone consumes 50 kilowatts. I'm pretty certain that's what that is. Four drones, 50 kilowatts each. Because there's one drone out. Well, there's two. Wait. There's two. One drone out now. Drone miner, 50 kilowatts. You see that? And now he's going back. And now one's come back out again. This one should go up to 50. I think. I, I think. I. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> anyway. So we have this being done. We have the rods. The, first, the next thing we need to do is start working on the good old ones over there. But to do that, because we need to get power over there also, we've got two options. We can build another platform like this over there. Or what I could do is I could get a foundation and take it from here to over there. So the power converts over to this location as well. But we do need some more plates which I don't have much of because oh, I'm going to have to go and do this by hand real quick. Okay, I'll be back in about five minutes. I'm going to grab as much of this as possible, make as many plates as possible by using the dropship, and then I'll get back to you so we can start working on this little miner here as well. Okay, so as you can tell, it is now daytime. Yes, I've quickly restart and reloaded the game, and I'm back in, uh, in good old day. So, uh, as you can tell, I've done a little bit of a foundation that runs along here towards this um, this this area here. Uh, and this is going to be the place where we can actually put down another drone port. So, I'm going to place one right here, like so. And then we can get that powered up because it is on the same grid. Um, so, it is powered. So, these will start collecting. 
The only problem is I don't have enough materials to make a smelter. So these will start giving me the item because they're bringing in a four per each time they come in. I'm guessing with research, they might be able to maybe be upgraded. But for now, I'm just going to keep running backward and forward, doing like you do at every start of every beginning of a factory game. You kind of just run around, insert stuff in here. At least one thing, I don't have to handcraft. Okay, so after I've got some plates, I can now expand this little bit. Uh, I'm going to take it, let's say, here. What's going on here? Wait, am I on a... Ah, I'm on the wrong axis. Build. There we go. I couldn't build her. Is that because this rock's in the way? If so, let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Be gone. Oh my god. Nice that does. Make it fly around the map. There we go. Uh, extend that a little bit. And then what we can do is I'm just going to put that there as well. Okay, so we can now look at putting the smelter, smelter down. So we're going to need to put it four spaces. So let's turn the panel. Three, four. Extend you there so you're not floating. Let's put another one there. And then we can put the outputs of you that way. You into that way. Belt across there. Bada bing, bada bosh. We are now making plates. Beautiful. A lot quicker as well. So I can grab some of these. And I've still got some actually cooking over here. I'm actually going to clean this up as well. I'm probably going to put this straight uh, and eventually connect this section up with this section over here as well. But our next objective is we need to make four smelters. So I have uh, one on me right now. I can make two more, but I do need to make more foundations because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a manifold line. I think the best thing to do right now is because these are actually doing 20 per minute. Uh... And then this is doing 60. So we could technically just put three down if we go for 60. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do for, uh, going to create uh, a, a line of eight for a belt capacity. Then I'm going to put more drones like around here. Uh, do I need more power? Am I good for power? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Uh, and I'm going to put more drones around here and then put it all onto one belt, which will equal, you know, 160 above until later, where, like I stated before, you know, all of this will eventually get depleted. So I need more of you, and I need more of these plates over here. Uh, boop. I can then make just as many plates as I want, some well building blocks. And I can start putting these down, let's say here. Start removing some of these rocks, like so. And I'm going to take this here also. I'm going to take this all the way along. We've got a plant to get rid of here, which is you. Get rid of that. Uh, and then I'm going to remove this, this... I can actually, if you hold shift and F, you go into mass delete mode. So if I like click here, uh, click, it then goes into horizontal mode. So I want to take this all the way along here, like so. And then I click again and it goes into vertical mode. So I can delete all the way up there. But I only want to delete this section right now. And I'll get rid of all the belts and all that kind of good stuff. So what we want to do is we actually want to put a, a, a belt coming out here. We're going to get this to run along here like so we're then going to get a smelter with a panel on the opposite side we're going to move it two away no one away and then we're going to go one two three we're going to get inserted our initial mission oh. of setting up a smelting facility we've done a great job haven't we i have at this point we should have received further instructions but something is blocking our communications okay. i think we'll have to improvise my archives contain a blueprint for a research server. Through material analysis, I should be able to provide an emergency beacon blueprint. And we can do some research. Let's get going and build a research server. Okay, research server is going to be in science and a science server. So let's get that built. And then let's get you on there. Let's get you on there. Make sure you're on intake. You're on intake. And now these three are being powered. So let's put down the research station right here to advance in research you will need to build science packs science packs. craft a few by hand and insert them into the research server make to three of them the i'm gonna need more machinery blueprint. parts machinery parts are more very like the most important are the starting items these plates because you need a lot of machinery parts and a lot of plates to start with your rods 
I don't think are as much priority over them, but you, obviously you still need them. Uh, let's dump in the science packs in there. And we need an emergency beacon. So we can actually see how extensive the research panel is here. Um, the research stuff. And there's a lot of stuff down here we can start working towards. And it shows you blue, red, and um, green science all the way up to yellow, pink. So there's five different science right now. Slag reprocessing, pump jack efficiency, pumps for pipes, pipelines, blast furnaces, underground mining carts. Oh, boy. And jetpacks. Yes, you saw jetpacks. So, oh god, I'm getting excited. I'm getting ex I, I, over the game. Okay, you weirdos. Um, so let's dump them in there. Um, research interface, and let's start with the communications. So let's click that. Start research. Unfortunately, I've not found a way, or if we are able to queue multiple researches. I don't think we can do that just yet. We did try that on stream as well, and I couldn't seem to find out how to do it. But again, let's go over here, grab some more plates. And then once this gets done, we can actually research this um, beacon. We can see the power grid is strained right now. Maybe what I should do is double the um, power. Let's build one of them. Have I got enough? I've got a few biomass. I might need to go and collect some more. Well, I will need to collect some more. Uh, once that's built. I can then put you down, make Got a second it. one. We now have the emergency beacon Boom. blueprint. Craft it and place it, okay. but not too close to your existing machines. Those rescue parties tend to land right on top of the beacons. Oh, okay. So rescue party is being dropped down. Wait, where's my beacon? Here it is. Let's place this down over here. Boom. Okay. Placed it. Great. Now you might want to take a step back and look up. Oh. <laughs> a real groundbreaker. Oh, my God. This corporate command companion bureaucrat bot, C3BB for short, will C3 help us establish BB? a connection with Mission Command. First, let's help him out of that drop pod <laughs> by deconstructing and placing it in a safe location. Look how cute he is. Wait. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? C3BB. Let me go and put this down over here. C3BB. Uh. Welcome to the ground, C3BB. Oh BB. my god. We have activated this emergency beacon because we are having trouble communicating with Mission Command. <coughs> Critical damage on the Mission Command space station, you say? Spontaneous explosive disassembly. That's extremely troubling. What now? Are we trapped here? Bebop. That aligns with our disaster contingency protocol. C3BB, initiate a thorough analysis of the incident. We'll integrate your extended blueprint archive with our research servers and construct a self-sufficient manufacturing facility capable of providing emergency aid. Okay. So if we go over to CBB now, enter. We can actually pet him. Oh my god. Why is it I really want a plushie already? Chat with CBB. Uh, new task research assembler. Meet Bob. He's now... You're right. Oh. We need a machine that is able to craft common items. I'm glad you have the blueprint stored. Let's go ahead and research the assembler. All right. So research the assembler. So research... Assembler, start the research. We're going to need five of you, so I'm going to need more plates. I need to get some more rods, I think, as well. Yeah, I do. Actually, I've got two stacks, but still. And there we go. Let's put them in there. Start getting that research. I've only put two in right now because the other ones are currently being constructed. They do take some time, so obviously it's something you definitely want to bloody automate. So I'll be with you as soon as this gets done, and then we can chat more with good old B3 or B3. Is that what he's called again? C3. Sorry. I called you by your previous model. And this is a little hot, so I can... Boop. <laughs> Call him back. That's kind of cute. Oh, actually, whilst we're waiting, or whilst, I, whilst I'm waiting, I can grab this while you guys can sit back and skip at least a couple of seconds for that research to be done. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so after a little bit, I have got some more progress done. 
Uh, I've managed to put down eight of the smelters, and I've put down a storage box down here as well, which I had to grab from the uh, tech tree, which if we look into here, um, I got the assembler. I've also improved my character uh, the movement, and I've also researched the basic... No, I haven't researched that, have I? Oh, yeah, I have researched a character improvement, and I've got the basic infrastructure, which kind of leads to, like, decor and container and stuff. So we've got that, and the good old B B C C3 here uh, wants us to do a science pack 2 now and expand smelters. Uh, and I've added some more power because of the amount of smelters. All of these smelters obviously aren't needed, uh, but I am going off belt and not by machine because I do want to future-proof this pretty soon by adding another drone board. And we can already see that they are mining pretty low, and they will go for the closest ore to them, I've noticed. Which kind of does make sense, but I need to head back down here and get some more supplies. Uh, and I've also put another smelter down here, as you can tell. Because uh, this was, you know, doing my head in, waiting for a lot of these bloody plates. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to remove these rocks right here, like so. And then I'm going to send the ore from here up there. And we're going to put eight more smelters. But I just need to kind of... Can I just... Let's just delete that. Uh, shift F. Click there. To there. Bada bing, bada bosh. Get rid of all that layer. And then... What I'm going to do... Is if we get a foundation... I'm going to take that all the way across there. Like so. And then go into here. And I'm going to build a little... Ramp. Put that there. And then get the belt to come all the way. Oh, I'm out of belts. Ugh. Damn it. Build, build, belt, build belts. Then I'm going to take this all the way along here. Like so. Come on. Give me belts. I see three. Boom. Press R to rotate. And then take these along here. Right, so I'm just going to match it to the end of this. And bing. And then I'm going to remove the research station. We're not researching right now. So I'm just going to remove this. And then I want to build one, two, three, four more smelters. We're going to need uh, one, two more loaders. Actually make that... Yeah. So we've got the outputs here on this side. Yeah, so I'm going to need uh, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more loaders. And I also need to extend this foundation out a little bit as well. Oh, I shouldn't have built eight. I shouldn't have built six smelters. I've got these two here, haven't I? If I was to remove this one and this one, I can remove this loader and this loader. And then I can just remove them two belts bring you along here rotate you along this way connect you up to this system and then all i should really need to do here is just rotate that onto that belt and it should merge onto it which it is trying to do but because obviously this is bottlenecked it won't be eventually i can then go onto my hot bar and start putting some more smelters down i'm going to get the panels facing the opposite direction Make sure they're lined up with... Oh, they're not lined up, are they? That smelt is... Oh, it's going to do me head in. That's good. Right, I need to fix this. I need to fix this. BRB, BRB. Okay, done. Bada bing, bada bosh. Fixed what I needed to fix. I just needed to move this whole line over. Well, not over this way, by one. So now I can align these up. So I want to put the panel on this side. Um, and then I can just start putting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. And then we're going to grab ourselves our good old inserters here. Let's we'll start putting these in like this. Make sure you're on intake, which you already are. You should automatically do what you need to do as well. Uh, did not want to put you there. Uh, but we can go along this side and get a belt to run up here. And then on the output side here, we're going to put one... 
like this. Make sure you're all set to output. Uh, this one can I get actually deleted. So can that one. And then over here, I'm just going to extend the foundation on a little bit, which I need to remove this rock first. Extend this foundation like so. Grab ourselves another storage container. Wait for that to get built. Uh, and then I can put down you to there. Get ourselves a conveyor belt. Rotate you that way. I've just run out. Whoops. Whoopsie. You into there. Go into here. Grab myself a storage. Uh, put the panel on. Oh, this, this is a double panel, the storage. Place that there. And we are now putting our plates into a storage here. We are me grabbing them and having them having a capacity of 200 inside that machine. So obviously it's going to take time for this to load. And I do need to... What's going on here? You have no power. Wait. Oh, it's because I need to go under here. So power does not transfer through the belt ramp. You actually need... It only can go through foundations. So if I go down here, I've got to remove this one and then connect a foundation to there, which now we can see be the distance. We have now got movement. So we have to make sure we do an, like a, a little Z shape here, um, or an S shape, whichever you want to call it, uh, to get the ore moving and bloody grooving. So uh, we are still running off biomass. I do eventually want to get automated power um, and all that kind of good stuff. But I think... My next plan of action is to... No, maybe. Let's have a look at... Let's have... Where's the research? Oh, I deleted it, didn't I? Let's have a look at the research station. Uh, where is it? I deleted it. Uh, when in the... Er oh, I just made another one. I didn't want to make another one. Anyway. Uh, in the early days of, like, alpha access to this, this research station used to be, like, a big building. Uh, and they've made it to this now. So I wonder why that was. Um, but now we can uh, go into here. I want to look at power. Uh, burner generator right there. Unlocks a larger low voltage generator which can be automated and it also slightly more efficient. While the burner generator can burn biomass, it's advised to automate the process by using ignium ore mined by drone miners. Okay, so to get that, we actually need the ore scanner ignium. So let's start getting that search. That needs 15. Um, so I guess what I could really do, since we've got all this extra power... And I've just accidentally built another researcher. I'm going to put down the other one. Where is it? Here. And have I got... Let's make as many of them as I can. Let's grab some of you out of here. And if, you, if you've if you noticed, the storage does have uh, locked spaces. So for those that are new to factory games, the reason this is very beneficial, because uh, you might be wondering, why would you want to lock storage? Because that is one that you... Just, what, don't you want it to store items? Well, not in all cases, because there might be some items that you're going to be automating that might be expensive to make, and you don't want to make as much as uh, much because the resources that's making them, you might want them to reserve them for uh, something else because you might be splitting them off to another project. So doing this allows you to control the actual um, backlog of your actual machines. So if I didn't want this, I could remove these now, but they won't, you know, fill up to there. So, um, yeah, so we're just going to leave them open because these are common, common resources. But later on down the line, we'll definitely use it in uh, some instances. So let's grab some more items. Let's automate, not automate, handcraft some more of these. We are going to make some of these in a minute, but I want to work on the power. Uh, I want to dump some in there. Let's just manage inventory. If I write, yeah, I can split by right clicking. Uh, split by six. I'm going to put some in there as well, which hopefully will double the speed, which by the looks of it, it looks like it possibly is. Now, we've just got to wait for this to be done, and then we can scan for some ignium. But if we remember, we looked on the map, there was some ores here, which are, I'm going to guess they're underground, because what direction is that in? It's in this way, this direction, right? Yeah. It's in this direction. Oh, he's got a question mark over his head. I'll be, I'll be right back, C3. So it's right over here. Is it below us? A little mine. It could be extremely low for all we know. 
Yeah, I don't want to dig too deep because I'm going to end up digging myself in here and I'm not going to be able to get back out because of my spoon. All right, C3, what did you uh, want to offer? Expand smelters. Build 16 smelters. <coughs> You're right. This will provide a good supply of plates and rods. But given the task at hand, soon we might have to scale it up even further. For now, let's not get ahead of ourselves and just take a moment to celebrate this victory. Okay. Well, 92% on the Ignium. Now we can slowly watch this up. 93. Oh, there's none in here. 94. 95. 96. 97. <laughs> 98. 99. 100. Beautiful. So we can now scan for Ignium. So let's right click our scanner. Boop. Technum ore. Xenoferrite ore. Oh, the ore over there didn't scan. Oh, here we go. Ignium ore. So it is underground. Right here. So let's kind of head down. This is going to take a little bit of work. Okay, so after a little bit of mining later, you can see I've kind of exposed the vein a little bit. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill a little bit in here, like so. And then I need to kind of get the ore out of here, right? So I need to, I need to get a, a, a miner so we can put that down, let's say, here. I actually need to remove this stuff as well. I might, yeah, I need to make this a little further back because this isn't going to be decent. So I need to... Push all of this back by two, and then push this top section back by two, like so. And then I need to bring in a foundation there. Um, oh, I also need to bring a foundation under here, don't I? Because I need to send the power up. So, foundation there, there, foundation, foundation, and then a foundation here and there. You into there, you into there. Another one. Oh, no, because the, the ramp takes up two spaces, doesn't it? So, I need to put that. I need to put another one under there, like that, and then remove you, remove the one under that, and there, place, 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 like that, there we go, that's what I needed to do, and then I can put a foundation here, and then that'll, that'll go on to, let's say, uh, an area there, right, so if we get ramps, ramp, 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 that will take the items from here. We're also going to need a output and then a belt underneath that. But then we also need power over here. So what I'm going to do, just for the simple reason, is I'm going to make as many more foundations as I can. I'm going to take this all the way over here, like so. And I'm just going to connect it to this foundation because then that will power it like that. No? Missing building foundation. Wait a minute. Are you telling me... You can't go on that one. And I need to push all of this back. Is that what you're telling me right now? Because I swear to God, if it is... Wait a minute. Can I... No. Hold on a minute. Couldn't I just... Wait. Wait. I can just put it there, right? Hello? No power. Wait, where have I messed up here? I'm going to have to go underneath now just to find out what's not powered. Wait, maybe my building... Is my plant not powered? Where am I not... No, we've got power. Oh, wait. A... Wait, no. Is it this one? Oh, it's this one. Boom. There we go. Now we've got it. Nice. Now we can start mining that. And then in here now. Oh, well, we don't have. Oh, I've not researched the. Uh, what's it called? I'm going to need. How much did, How much is it going to cost me to research um, the burners? Burner generator. 20 science packs. How many have I got? I've got 45. Okay. We're fine. Let me put down my panel again. Let's get them... Oh, I was already researching it. Dump that in there. Get them going. And whilst that's happening, I'm going to set up an automation setup here uh, by start working on uh, the actual uh, packs themselves. So we're going to need um, two assemblers because the packs, to make them, we need machine parts and rods. So let's get two assemblers, which we've got four here. We're going to make a space of four. So one, two, three, four. We're going to rotate this. So place of four like that. Then we're going to get a belt coming from the storage. 
to go into the machine like that. We're going to make you an output, which means you will then be making science packs. No, you're going to be making machine parts. That's what you're making. Then we're going to get one of these. We're going to place another one here, like so, with another output here. Input there. Belt to go into there. It's rods that are going straight in here, isn't it? You're going to make the science pack. Yeah. You're going to be an output. No more filling that biomass burner by hand for you. It's time to upgrade to the burner generator and dig up ignium ore for automated power production. Let's power up our future. Okay. So that's an intake. That's an outtake. I'm going to get a belt just to go along there. Just like that. And you're the intake. So now... We are... Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, okay. Because I don't have auto jump on, I can't run over these... These belts. But if I turn auto jump on, auto climb, I can walk over the belts. Interesting. Okay, so I'll lock behind it because technically it's a block. Right. So, we've now got the science blocks being made, but we now need to put that into storage. So I want them to go into storage first. We're going to put an output here. We're then going to turn this into an output. We're then going to put another one here. We're then going to connect these two up, like so. You're going to be an intake, but we're going to put you into a storage, like... So, oh, my fault. Oh my God, there's no, <laughs> there's no storage here. And then we're gonna put you into a storage, which you're, yeah, you're going into there. And then we're gonna do two more. I need to actually get, um, oh, I need some plates. Oh, I can only access it from the panel, can I? Um, oh no, I'm after the storage. There we go. So, and then I wanna make a couple more of these. Then I want to output you into an input here. So your uh, output going into that, where then I'm going to get you, remove you, and we're going to place you down here. So now you're automatically going to get some research. Beautiful. So now we've got our first little set of automation up. Obviously, we have this right here. It's not going to be ideal, and it won't stay here for that long. Uh, well, who knows? We don't know what's going to be happening. This is our little starter factory, right? Um, but we've now got this up and running. We can now start doing some other research. But now, what, what do we want to research? But first, I want to sort out the power problem. Because right now, we're still on biomass burners, and we have now just unlocked the burner generator. So I'm going to get one, two, three of these, and I will... Wait, how much did they produce? 1.8 megawatts, which is a lot more than what we could do. So they can burn up to 1.8 megawatts. So they'll only burn what is required. So let's get the belt uh, running... Oh, wait, how big are these? How big are these? Be oh, you're big boys. You are big boys. Okay, so we need you to come up here. Oh, we need you to come around here, and you're going to come along this way to here. And then I want to put down the other burner and the other. Get some inputs. You into there, you into there, you into there, which means I can remove that one and remove that one. And these are already up and running. Beautiful. Grid stats. Biomass burners, burner generators. These can burn up to 1,800. Current output is only 200. Let's go and remove these uh, biomass burners over here because we don't need these anymore. Uh, let's get rid of you and you and you. And bada bing, bada bosh. We are good to go. We've got our basic items being smelted, which, which is very inefficient right now because I need more drones, which we'll do that later. We've got the science packs automated, which are being stored in here. We've got an, a surplus of rods and plates in here. And then we've also got some automated power. So I think that is a good time to call it. So, guys, let me know if you're ready for this series. And if you're going to be purchasing it, let me know. And remember, 
check out the description and also the the, the link in the uh, pinned chat, the pinned message in the uh, comment section where you can go and get yourself a copy. Where it will be for now, uh, it will be 10% off for the next couple of weeks. So make sure you pick it up while it's on sale. Um, and uh, yeah, keep smiling and check out my other content right here. And as always, I'll see you in the next bloody video.